day to try to find what a Christian is, is Acts chapter 11, Acts 11, verses 25 through 26. Acts 11, verses 25 through 26. The book of Acts chapter 11, verses 25 through 26. The scripture says, Then Barnabas departed for Tarsus to seek Saul, and when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. So it was that for a whole year that they assembled with the church and taught a great many people. And the disciples were first called Christians in Antioch. Praise the Lord. Amen. This is a very important scripture to us who want to find out what a child of God is and what a Christian is. It says that the disciples were first called Christians in Antioch. Who called them Christians is not even important at this point. What is important is that they were referred to as Christians. So, question is, who was called Christians? The Bible said, just the scripture we read now said, the disciples were called Christians. Praise the Lord. This is important. The disciples were called Christians. So, the book of Acts mentioned two important words here. Disciples and Christians. Disciples and Christians. These two words will be our focus in this part one. Disciples and Christians. Amen. Amen. First, we want to look at the word disciple. What is a disciple? What is a disciple? So we go back to uh, the root word of the word disciple by the help of Strong's Light Concordance. Strong's is, uh, you know, uh, 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 concordance that help us translate Greek to English so that we know what they mean. Praise the Lord. So, anytime you see a word in the Bible that you're looking for a good try to know the real meaning of it, look for it. Most of them came from Greek. Look for the Greek origin and it will give you the real definition they want it to be. I'll give you an example because words can change. Bad can be bad, it can be good, praise the Lord, depending on when you were a teenager. When you were a teenager in the days of Michael Jackson, that bad was good. In my parents time, bad was bad. I'm not sure what bad is right now. Praise the Lord. But if you go to when it was said, then you know the meaning then. Praise the Lord. This is why we go to the Greek, not because we are trying to throw a word that means nothing to us today. So Disciple came from the word matetes, matetes in Greek, meaning learner, a pupil, or a student. That's simply what it means. You are a learner, if you are a disciple, it means you are a learner. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So it means somebody who is learning from something, somebody about something. Amen. Amen. So the disciples of Jesus Christ means those who are learning from Jesus about the kingdom of God and about Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So he said that the disciples were first called Christians in Antioch. So the people who were learning either about Jesus or from Jesus about the kingdom of God, they were called disciples. A person can be a disciple to other teachers as well. You can be a disciple of Confucius, you can be a disciple of um, Mark, you can be, you can be a disciple of um, whatever. If you're learning from somebody and you believe in what that person is saying, or you're getting some knowledge from what that person is saying, you are a disciple. So, disciple is not isolated to our Lord Jesus alone. We're going to find out that disciple doesn't necessarily mean somebody who is totally sold out to what he, he or she is learning. Amen? Amen? 
So somebody being a disciple of Jesus Christ doesn't necessarily mean he is a true believer in Jesus Christ. I want you to keep that in mind. So that was disciple. Now let us look at Christian. What is a Christian or who is a Christian? And then we go back to Strong to help us. Strong Concordance says that Christian came from the word Christianos. The Greek word Christianos. And that word means the follower of Christ. Praise the Lord. The follower of Christ. It means follower of Christ. That's what Christian means. Now, uh, it depends on how deep you want to go with it. You can say follower of Christ means follower of the anointed. Amen? Amen. It means that you're following the evidence of the anointed or the anointing and not necessarily the anointed one. Does that make sense what I'm trying to say? Okay, so we have disciple and Christian. So these two things are going to give us an idea of what the picture we are trying to paint here about who a child or what a child of God means, or what a child, what it means to be a child of God. So our Lord used the word disciple very frequently. But he never used the word Christian, obviously, because he was gone before they call them Christians in Antioch. Amen? Amen. When he called people children of God, he usually was saying, my father, our father, he would say, call no one your father on earth, because there is only one father, the one in heaven. He was talking about the kingdom of God and the children of God. Amen? Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So, our Lord again never used the word Christian, in John chapter 8, verse 31. Let's go to John chapter 8, verse 31. John 8, verse 31. John 8, verse 31. John 8, verse 31 says, Then Jesus said to those Jews who believed, who believed him, If you abide in my word, you are my disciples indeed. Remember when I said that you can be a disciple and not really be uh, a true disciple. Jesus said to those who are listening to him, as he's saying to us, the only way we can be true disciples, true, you know, the true students, the true pupil, as the old statement will say, the true learners of through Jesus or from Jesus, is if the words that we learn are impacting our lives. Amen. Amen. If the words we are learning from him and truly transforming us the way it ought to, the way he intends for them to transform us. This is why I said in the beginning that a lot of people call themselves children of God, but are they truly children of God? When the word of God is not making any impact in our lives, how can we truly say that we are children of God? You don't become a child of God by claiming to be a child of God. You don't become a child of God by arresting the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is by grace. Amen? Amen. It is by grace. So, if you abide in the word, he said, if you hold on to my teaching, you are my disciple. Another way to look at it is, if you don't hold on to my teaching, if you don't follow what I say, this is Jesus, not me now. I'm not looking for disciples. Praise the Lord. Yeah. If you don't follow what I'm saying, Jesus said, you can claim all you want. You are not my disciple. That's really what he's saying. This is why he was saying that many are called, but few are chosen. This is why, by the grace of God, I had a clear revelation of that wide road and the difficult road that was mentioned in the Bible. How zillions of people are trooping on that wide road. Everybody calm, going their way, happy, go lucky, going. Once in a while, one person will exit with this um, non, you know, assuming road, that a death road that don't look like anything. Once in a while, one person will just check that. 
turns out that that thin one that doesn't look like anything is the way to the, the place you are to be in the kingdom of God. The other mighty one are people are all like nice and all glorious. The end, you don't want to get to the end. And the sad part is what God revealed to me, that is that once you cross past that place you're supposed to exit, it's hard to turn back because the whole people behind are just moving you ahead. Anyway, let me not deviate from what we are talking about right now. So the disciple is one who goes to the teaching of our Lord Jesus Christ. That is the disciple of Jesus Christ. A Christian is simply a follower of Jesus Christ. Does that make any difference to us? A Christian means someone who is following the anointing, the what they saw. So, for example, somebody is following because of the miracles, somebody is following because of the power, somebody is following because of the healing, or even the oratory of the one who is speaking. That's just a Christian. He might be in the church seven days a week, sweeping and cleaning and doing all sorts of things, giving to the church. He can still remain a Christian. They're not a true disciple. So the difference, there is an important difference between a disciple and a Christian. A disciple of Jesus Christ is a student of Jesus Christ who believes in Jesus and keeps his commandments. While a Christian is at best a mixed multitude in amongst the people of God. This brings me to the issue of the mixed multitude. The church of this present age is full of mixed multitude. The Old Testament gave us an example of what mixed multitude is about. We just finished a book of Exodus in the church and the Bible tells us that when Pharaoh finally allowed the children of Israel to leave Egypt because God had showed his mighty hand, that a mixed multitude journeyed with them and left Egypt. Why? They were not part of the promise. They were not part of Israel, but they followed because they have seen the power of God and they wanted to be part of what God was doing for the Egypt, for the Israel, children of Israel. But they were never part of it. These people, when they follow, they will not abide with or abide to the commandments of God among the children of Israel. Why? Because they are not part of it. Likewise, those who are not part of the kingdom of God, yes, they may be amongst Christians, but they will not fully sell into the Lord Jesus Christ. Let me repeat that. They will not fully allow themselves 